the last time you saw action on these brakes was um, in the clip where I had to get some more assistance from my dad as well as doing that. Uh, and basically what we did was we literally just loosened it, put this bolt in finger tight so I can jump straight back into it. So now what we've come up with as well, we've diagnosed the issue. Um, it's not the what do you call it? It's not the piston itself because that goes in and out fine. So we've, we've narrowed it all down to these little things here, not expanding and retracting. Shoot me down in the comments, I've forgotten what they're called. Um, so please do remind me in the meantime. Um, but yeah, what I'm going to do is uh, take this off, this part of the caliper off, and simply undo the bolts, see how they expand and retract, if that's the correct terminology to use, and leather the hell out of them in WD-40 and just, just, just let that work, it's magic really. Back with the right tool, it was a 13mm that I needed, so I'm going to get on with cracking this little doozy off. There we go, okay. Right, so we can leave that to one side. I haven't got any cable ties on me, unfortunately. And then we can see the issue that we may or may not have here. So right, this one, that's absolutely fine. I'm happy with that. But this one is absolutely seized solid. That is 100% well and truly seized. Here you can see again this one expands and retracts absolutely fine as it should. Yeah, whereas this one absolutely sees solid. I can't get any movement out of that at all. Right, so it's been about three weeks since you last um, saw the last clip of this video. Basically, in that three weeks, I'm not sure that light's completely useless. Um, what I've done in these three weeks is I've managed to f um, find a completely new caliper for um, this Civic. I had to buy it from Poland. That's why we're here three weeks later. I genuinely could not find one frigging this side of Europe. So it's arrived three weeks later. Um, and what I'm basically gonna do is, the caliper part itself, this part on the car, that's fine. It's just this outer piece here that needs replacing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this off, whack it on the caliper, get the pads back in, um, and keep this with the car just as a spare, you know, just in case it goes wrong in the future. I doubt it will, but it's always good to have spares with the car like this anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to I'm gonna have a quick look just to familiar, familiarise myself with it again because it's been a few weeks since I've been down here working on the car. Um, once I'm familiar with it, I'm just going to get on with it and see how it goes. I'm going to film this as best as I can from uh, in here. I've not actually got any gloves with me today because I've just been rushing around like an absolute bloody madman trying to sort a few things out amongst this so yeah anyway let's try and uh, crack these bolts off which way we go now I think that's right so let's try and crack these off I'm probably going to end up time lapsing this because it's going to take me ages so uh, yeah sit back and grab your popcorn guys <laughs> Okay, that was pretty easy. So we've got the two bolts off. This got in the way a little bit, but that's no issue. And there we go, she's come free. This is the part that wasn't working on the ones. We can see this expander is working and this expander is working, excellent. So now this needs to go on that existing caliper there, whack the pads back in, which are in a little bag over there. And the front end of this car is completely done. Okay, so it's a bit later in the day. Um, I've come back basically i've got all the right tools i've familiarized myself properly with it this time um got some notes on what i need to do wd-40 for all the bolts wind back tool with this faceplate thing here the two pads which are actually in decent condition a wire brush to clean any of the brake dust and a ratchet 
and two of the correct size sockets, which is 13 and I believe a 17. Yep, that's right. And my toolbox, just in case I need anything more. And I've got some gloves this time. So basically what I've done is I've gone back to a video that I watched um, on how to replace these. I've put it all back together, but without the pads, obviously, because I watched uh, Chris Fix do this. And I seem to understand that the best, so I'm just completely going off what he said. And what he did was he basically swung this part of the caliper up and left the carrier on so you could access the anti squeal shims. I think they're anti squeal shims or, or clips, whatever the hell you want to call them. Um, and he slid them straight in. So, what I'm going to do now is I'll flick that back over to loosen and I'm going to do the exact same thing because it made perfect sense to me and I thought, you know what, I understand that and it's it's easier than trying to go at it any other way. So that's what I'm gonna crack on with and do now. So I'm using the new bolts and obviously the new carrier here today. So let's have a quick go at that, there we go. Swing that guy up, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. I'm going to pop these out and just make sure I've actually got them in the right place because I wasn't too sure. That, that looks good to me. It looks pretty similar to the bottom one, actually. So I think we could be in the right position there. It seems it. It seems like it's in a similar position. And now we need to slide these pads in. They are literally exactly the same, so we shouldn't have any issues sliding these in. I just need to get a quick look to obviously see where they actually slide in. I feel... Like it, it's just that. There we go. That's correct. There we go. We've got one in. And we'll move to the other side and repeat that again. There we go. This one's a little bit tighter. That one's quite a lot tighter, actually. So we might need a hammer. Oops, sorry. Might need a hammer just to get that. Oh, no. I think we're in there. We're just about in. Give a bit more. There we go. Right. They're both perfectly in now. Do I need to wind that piston back? Yes, I do. Doesn't appear to be a lot, but it looks like we do need to wind the piston back. So let's have a go at this. So this is the mechanism that I've come up with. Basically, you've got your piston here. What I've done is I've squeezed this pad out, pushed it against the face of the piston so that the wind back tool can force that in using this face plate. It all works together. So that's going to be on here the wind back tool can push against that and push against that to push the piston back in this way um, so you'll need to obviously hold this probably easier maybe using the end of a spanner if you've got one on this because it does crucify things but if you watch very slowly the piston does actually wind back in that seems pretty flush with the rubber to me I, I think I'm quite happy with that I think that when we swing that down that will go on so to dislodge it all, what we need to do now is just go back the other way and loosen the mechanism that we've made. Hold this, there we go, and the whole thing just slides out as easy as that. Literally two seconds, and that should, if I go down, that should not be an issue. So slide this pad back in once more, like so. I believe that's flush, and now there we go. She goes straight, and now we just need to pass this bolt back through again now you can see where this can be a bit fiddly because you've got to line up each hole between the caliper itself and the slider but we appear to have done it just there which is good and then tighten the whole unit back up once more Just like that, the caliper is assembled, your pads are in, bolts are tightened, yep, happy with everything, that's the physical part done here. Now what we need to do, get back up, we need to go in the car, and because we've done a brake job, we need to readjust the brake pedal because it's going to have ridiculous amounts of travel in it. What you want to do here is you've got your brake pedal here, like so. Um, we're going to pump it once, it will probably travel way off what it usually does. Give it two seconds, bring it back up nice and slow, and then just repeat the process, I'd say maybe ten times, you'll get the right travel back in the brake pedal and you'll feel it. 
go harder as you pump it more so it's not going to go straight into the carpet back here like it'll feel normal like now i can push it straight back like that with ease so give it two seconds pump give it two seconds there we go i can already feel it start to come back give it one more that's feeling much tighter and i can actually hear the action going on out there one more perfect that didn't even take 10 that was what four or five and just like that you've got your firmness back in the brakes and that's your job done how you change your brakes on pretty much any car um if you did enjoy the video uh drop a like on it and if you've got any more tips and tricks on how we can do this any other way or maybe faster next time or things to watch out for please comment them because i'd be grateful because literally as a professional will probably know i'll tell you every little helps with this um and yeah that's another episode of um work on the civic done not sure what's coming next i'll have to check the to-do list actually um but yeah like i said if you leave a like um that would be much appreciated and stick around for more of this and me so yeah catch you later cheers for watching